Police in Fairfield are searching for a driver in a black Toyota Tundra who sped away from this deadly crash. They say the Mazda you see was T-boned by an Infiniti Coupe at about 5.30 Sunday evening. Witnesses told police the driver of the truck and the driver of the Infiniti may have been involved in a street race or a possible road rage incident before the collision. Police say the man in the Mazda died. Ronald Brackett was an innocent motorist who was turning left onto Lopez Road from Canyon Hills Drive when he was hit. The driver of the Infinity was also hospitalized with life-threatening injuries. The driver of that Tundra managed to avoid the wreckage and kept on going. Crown Force Maureen Kelly reports while the investigation continues, the family of the innocent motorist is struggling with their sudden loss. Ron was a really good person. Um, he was a good father and a good boyfriend. The victim's live-in girlfriend and mother of his youngest child was surrounded by friends at the memorial for 31-year-old Ron Brackett. There she posted pictures of their new baby, two-month-old Alexander, and grappled with her sudden loss. He didn't deserve to go so early in life. He had a long life ahead of him. She says Ron was on his way home from a friend's house when he was killed in the crash Sunday night. Why him? Why couldn't you just be home? Friends wrote messages at the sign left at the accident scene. Some of those poignant words coming from Ron's two older boys, 11-year-old Derek and 13-year-old Aaron. He was a wonderful person. He always kept us safe and made sure that we weren't um, unhappy. Even if he was sometimes not the, you know, not the which is person, he would still try to, you know, help us out. Ron's ex-wife April says their family needs the driver of the Tundra that sped away from the scene to come forward in order to help them heal. We just want the person to come forward and, you know, and say what really happened. So we get some kind of closure and hear his side of the story. Maureen Kelly, Cron 4 News.